from within the edit page, you can apply effects to your clip and also customize and animate these effects. If you come over to open effects here, in fact, it's under resolve effects, you will find very many effects that are very interesting and very powerful. Most of them can be used with the free version of DaVinci Resolve 15. But the most powerful and the most used, like the lens blur, are only available in the paid version that will be the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. But nevertheless, you can use most of them. It's called OpenFX because you can install also third-party effects and you will have them listed here if the installation is correct. Now I'll take an example to show you how it works. I'm gonna select an effect that is very odd, that is the dent. Click and drag on the effect towards your clip and when you have it with the dent sign and a plus or something, you release and the effect is applied, as simple as this. If you look in your inspector, you will find another tab, the Open FX tab. Within this tab, you will find the effect listed. It could be more than one effect. And uh, you can put it off or on. And you have all the settings to work with this effect. So it's really quite easy now. You can play around and decide how you want to work with the effect. In the then type, for example, you can choose the type. Okay, I'll take three randomly. You can adjust the position if you like to, whatever. You can adjust the size of the dent. You can adjust the strength until it's a black hole or something like this. You can decide how the behavior is gonna be on the border. The borders can be black or reflect or so on, depending on the size, of course. And you can decide on the blending. For some effects, there are settings that you can find with the on-screen controls. If you remember, if you click down, you will have open FX overlays. So you have some overlays here that will help you customize the effect. In this case, for the dent, you have, for example, the center, and you have the strength, you make it weak or very strong, and you have the size. Not all effects have on-screen controls or three controls from here. Let's take an example here and try to adjust this one. Let's make it very small, just like this. And let's uh, decrease the blending. In fact, you are decreasing the blending by increasing the value here. And notice now you have two guys. That's pretty cool. If you play with the strengths, you make it small, just like this. You have a kind of shadowy effect. I like very much. Now you can uh, adjust it like this. Okay, I've taken the whole clip. Notice how wide it is. And it's pretty cool over here. But of course, you can come over and animate this effect. It will give you very nice results. Another thing is that you can apply as many effects as you want. For example, I will use the vortex and drop it on the clip. Here you are. So now you have the dent here. If you double click, it will close. And you have the vortex. If you double click, it will open. And you have all the settings for the vortex, for example. Also, you can decide on the order. Sometimes the order is very important. So you can take vortex up, for example and dent is down, or vice versa, the way you would like. You can also delete the effect. If you delete the effect, all keyframes and everything have disappeared. So actually, this is the general use of effects within the edit page. And I will see you in the next lecture with a serious application and animation of one important effect.